Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Nexus One and the little difference that I saw in the features of Froyo compared to Eclair. Here I have um, two Nexus Ones. This one running the uh, Froyo firmware and this one running the, uh, the Eclair. Um, the little thing I noticed is the multi-touch in the gallery. As most of you know, to zoom into a picture, all you have to do here is pinch and to zoom but the thing is no matter where you try to zoom you will it will just um, zoom into the center of the picture and you can't move it like so but the thing I notice about in the Froyo is that when trying to uh, zoom into picture you can now zoom into the place that you pinch it at so let's say I want to zoom into this laptop over here which is you see that and the neat thing is now you have pinch and pan now this is something it wasn't in the eclair uh, gallery multi-touch feature what's uh, pinch and pan is the ability to pinch and move it to wherever you want to zoom into now you can see that you can move it with your two fingers while zooming or zooming out that's a pretty neat feature because it beats the whole I mean you don't have to pinch move it around again and then zoom in again or zoom out now you can just do this in one touch which is pretty neat although it's not so great like the um see the iPhone ones but it's a little neat feature that I kinda noticed but the thing is, this feature doesn't work in the browser. The browser only does zooming but not moving it around. So, I don't know. It's just something I wanted to throw it out. Um, yeah. As far as the two firmware goes, I really gotta agree that Froyo performs really well on the phone. It's very smooth, no lags. Um, the only lag I see is when you're browsing the the internet because uh, as mo many of you know it has Adobe 2 uh, 10.1 so it tries to load flash content which makes it really laggy for a browser to go through anything um, other than that I say it's a really good f um, firmware and the addition to that pinch to zoom part I think it's a really nice feature well sorry it's not really a neat video but I just wanted to throw it out there for some of you guys that are, you know, wondering what's new in Froyo. Because I haven't read about, I'm, far as I know, I haven't read about that feature at all until I tried it out myself last night. So, yeah, if you guys like it, subscribe. Um, by the end of this month, hopefully, or beginning, beginning of June, uh, I'm mean, sorry, beginning of July, I'll be doing a run-through video of the official 2.1 update on the HTC Hero once it comes out and that should be the next upcoming video on my list so if there's anything else I'll try to post it up and if you like it say please subscribe and my other videos just go to my channel it's not formal or anything but yeah feel free to watch it um, I also have the uh, HTC IME keyboard installation tutorial video and the uh, the screen comparison between the AT&T model and the T-Mobile model of the uh, Nexus One. So if you like it, go ahead. I'll put the links in the bottom in the description bar. So hope you like it and thanks for watching.